Hope you practiced, Gwendolyn. No. Just listen to stories. Are you even trying? <laughs> Stop that! Yeah. What mm. are you doing? Just egging you on. Well, they are delectable. <laughs> Good show. Children! Children! Come along, quickly! It's your grandfather. Uh, Sir Gra uh, ahem. King Graham, we have some important addendums that need addressing. <clears throat> you have my attention. Proceed. Yes, well, our new uniforms came in, and Addendum 90210 grants you the executive power over costuming. Which colors do you prefer? Scarlet Sunset or Crimson Collada? Uh, Crimson Colada, for certain. I know the material is more expensive, but the quality speaks for itself. Splendid choice, Your Majesty. Told you number one. Uh. Next item. How would you like to handle Daventry Decree 867530? 867530? Your daily oh. foot rub. How would you like it handled? Let's start with light touch. I wouldn't want to be rubbed the wrong way. Hilarious. Your key decisions are already shaping the kingdom for the better. Yay. This is definitely better. Sir, uh, we've recovered the stolen beds. However, goblin sightings are on the rise again. The horde is surfacing in the northwest. How would you like to proceed? Let's set up traps along the castle border, then lure them in. You know, sneak attack. Excellent strategy, sire. I'll stick to it at once. Now then, what are your thoughts on Proclamation 741? I am... Um... How's this pressure, Your Majesty? It's fantastic. You heard him, guards. Proclamation 741 passes. Wednesdays are now officially opposite day. Wait, what? I'm not sure I like this. Sire, Kyle and Larry would like to know if they can host their music night in the throne room. Well, I, um... Miss Madeline and her court wish to seek an audience with you. I'm not... Well, should we send in first to deal with the goblins? Can I wear your crown? Not tonight. Let's reschedule. Whisper and never again. Opposite day. Yes means no, and no means yes.
Which colour did you like again? Red. Which addendum should we enact next? Addendum? No. Oh, goblin strategy seems to be failing. I think. Are we observing ice cream for breakfast day this year? There's been a slight problem with dinner. Care to reorder? The trolls have requested the royal steeds wear socks as well. Do you smell syrup? The stress! Enough! Out! Everyone! I need a moment. Don't know what his problem is. His problem is that he's not King Edward. There's not even bees in here. I'm sorry. I'm going to get some air. But, sire, it's pouring outside. That's fine. I'm going to visit Wenty. His custard pie always calms me down. As you wish, your majesty. That chair is not as comfortable as it looks. Huh. I'm not sure if this hat fits me. Graham, you've got the goods. You just need to relax. Had to cut budgets somewhere. Had to cut budgets somewhere. Had to cut budgets somewhere. Armor never suited me. Thanks for hiring me, sire. I am proud to be your royal guard number three. I wished I could have saved him. I was tormented about the different choices I could have made, but the outcome was always the same. Looks like Pilar called in sick again. King Bandicoot! Hey, Wolfie. Hey! <laughs> ah, things are good. <laughs> oh, you look a little under the weather. Here. <sighs> Ulfie wouldn't want your new shiny hat to get rusty. Thanks, Ulfie. I needed a break. Approving addendums is not exactly the adventure I was trained for. But King Edo chose you. Many, many people wanted that hat. Pilar applied like, oh, 17 times. I guess I was born at the right time. I'm just lucky. Luck? Huh. But m remember when you recovered all the stolen treasures? And, and remember how you solved that impossible riddle? Oh, 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 and, and that giant beanstalk you scaled? Was that luck? <laughs> Think not. <laughs> well, none of that matters now. The throne leaves me little time for questing. I'm just trying to be half the king. Dab, da, da, da. King Edo wasn't perfect, little buddy. Daventry was a mess when you got it. <sighs> Ulfie's back scars, remember? Well, when you have a legacy like that, people tend to forgive your final years. Come on, little bandy. I'll walk you into town.
Hmm. All this rain should help this tree grow. Addendum 48677. Hmm, they were right. You're supposed to be resting. So are you. I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. That's a lot of presents for a broken arm. Yes. Well, it certainly wasn't my most graceful tumble, and I am sorry I missed your fencing tournament. There's another one next weekend. I would miss it, even if Kyle has to carry me. <gasps> Are you afraid of the storm, dear? Or your own imagination? No. I'm not afraid of anything. Ah, oh, well. Since neither of us can sleep, want to hear a story about a time when I was definitely not in any way afraid of anything either? Does it have a dragon? It might. <laughs> it was a treacherous evening, just like tonight. As an adventurer, a goblin kidnapping would have been a fun romp. But as a new king, it was terrifying. Who's in charge? I, uh, <clears throat> I demand to speak to your king. No, 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 no. I couldn't see my own hand in front of my face, and I'm not sure I wanted to see anything else down there. Ooh. 
Who was that? Ow, my knee. Oh. Ouch, Koki. I'm fine. I'm fine. Gotcha. I shall call you Newton. I was weak. I was exhausted. I just wanted to sleep. I guess I should try to eat something. Is that porridge? Food. No, no, wait. Oh, no, 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 not down there. I look like I felt terrible. 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 Too weak to work that lever. This better not be the chamber pot. Ew, it's squishy and cold. I am feeling pretty weak. I instantly felt a bit better, but still far from my normal strength. <sighs> Finally! Ah. Good night, Newton. And good night, Sally. Good night, Finn. Sleep tight, Leapy. Good night, Fuego. Sweet dreams, Freckles. I'm not sure how long I was trapped in that dark room, but I remember the day that everything changed. Hmm. No more porridge? Yes, yes. Not that out. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can't tell you about that. Hey, I'm a stupid dog. Yes, he's right. Sorry, I'm a stupid dog. You know it. 
Monsters! I was weak and barely hanging on. It wasn't bedtime yet. I still had chores to finish. At least I can keep some dignity by dining at a table. If Mr. Fancy Cakes was captured, I didn't stand a chance. I didn't understand the much goblinese, but I think they wanted me to clean up all the webs. Why clean that? It's just gonna get dirty again. when I see him. Those rats were weapons of mouse destruction. I didn't understand the much goblinese, but I think they wanted me to clean up all the webs. Why clean that? Just a bit more strength, and I would be able to do that. Just a bit more strength, and I would be able to do that. Just a bit more strength, and I would be able to... Wenty? Graham? Is that you? Oh, my, my. Our favorite sprout has blossomed into quite the king bean. We are ready to be rescued, friend. I wish. I'm just a goblin errand boy at the moment. Why are you guys down here? Oh, I, I, I'm not sure. No one is sure. The last thing I remember is whipping up a, a pickled ice cream cake for Bramble. Oh, hello, Graham. I'd get up to greet you, but... I'm just so sleepy. 
Oh, you, you get your rest, honey muffin. I'll try to keep it down. Graham, Bramble, oh, she's not doing well. She's sick, needs medicine. The porridge was sustaining her, but they stopped feeding us. Yeah, it looks like the supply dried up. <laughs> Wonderful. Just great. Are they trying to starve us out? I swear if I get my hands on those little pieces of... Pinty! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Buttercup. Uh, go back to sleep. It's just a fella could lose his compassion down here, you know? If you find any medicine, could you bring it to us? I I'm sure you could use a bite too. Oh, no. There's enough love on these bones to last quite a while. Thank you. I'll see what I can do. Is still spinning. Why clean that? King Graham, fancy meeting you here. Amaya? They kidnapped you too? Kidnapped? No. I followed Wenty's girly scream down here looking for my mattress. I took out about 30 of them before the crumbler ran out of oil. They pounced. Now I'm here. It looks like you got your bed back at least. Yeah, these little rock brains must think they're hilarious. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me, Pee-wee. You know what you did. So, you ready to bust out of here? Perhaps, with your help. Find me a blade and keep me healthy. Yeah? How are you feeling? Feeling good, but it might not last. Can I take a look around your cell? Ugh, if you must. It is a lovely bed. I have seen so many beds down here. I'm surprised they even remembered which one was mine. That goblin's the fun crusher, isn't he? Yeah, no funny business while it's still around. What is the deal with that guy? They seem to be attracted to the low, gravelly tone of my voice. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage. Please don't. So, what's the plan? Find me a blade. These pipsqueaks won't stand a chance. How are you feeling? Feeling good, but it might not last. Goodbye. Bye. How, how, how? Oh, you must do that. <laughs>
Hmm. What was nesting down here? Hmm. What was nesting down here? Boy, is that you? He's not a boy anymore, Chester. He's a king. King boy? <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. Oh, it does. Well, well, how can we help you? Don't you mean how I can help you? Oh, forgive Chester. His blood sugar is low. Uh, you got any snacks in that crown of yours? I wish. Well, if you find some, let us know. We were working on something special to make these roots wilt away, but Chester can't remember the ingredients. Hello, little froggy friend. Mind if I taste your back? Hmm? I'm sure I could make it worth your while. Oh, you better hurry. Chester gets a little weird when he hasn't eaten. Why clean that? A large metal lock guarded the door of that cage. Can you help us? How are you feeling? I could be feeling better. What's the plan? Plan on bringing us food before we dole out any wisdom. Can I take a look around your cell? I don't see why not. What's that stump for? We dug out a hole in it for a makeshift cauldron. Is this a prison or a museum? Someone needs to have an intervention with these goblin hoarders. Is that a choco nut? We wish. Whatever it was is rotted and hollowed. Goodbye. <sighs> Visit us again soon. We really should move the store around once we're back. It's impossible to get out from behind the tables. Why would we? Why clean that? A large metal lock guarded the door of that cage. Yes? How's she feeling? She's taken a turn for the worse, I'm afraid. So, what's the plan? Oh, bring us some medicine, please. Can I take a look around your cell? I'm too hungry to deal with your questions. Why would they leave you cooking supplies? <sighs> I'm not sure if we're in the care of prison guards or inept zookeepers. Why would they leave you cooking supplies? <sighs> I'm not sure. Is that an oven? Well, it could be with some wood. Is that an oven? Well, it could be.
boy. Attention. That really? I hope you don't. Has anyone found any medicine yet? They instructed me to go to bed after my chores were finished. Hmm. No more porridge? I was weak and barely hanging on. I was weak and barely hanging on. While I was incredibly hungry, I wasn't that desperate. I wouldn't be able to save them all. It was not important which choice I made. But it was important I made a choice. Hmm, who could that be? Grandfather, it's Gart. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Proceed. <laughs> Having a bit of a nightmare, son? <laughs> nightmare? Of course not. Your light was on, and apparently I have a lot to learn from your stories. <laughs> Well, come on in. Take a seat. <sighs> now, where was I? Ah, uh, oh yes. Ah, oh yes, that's right. could pass, it was now my responsibility to feed whatever was behind that door. I felt better, but still not at full health. I felt better, but still not like myself. Oh. 
funny. I usually know a rat. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. Slipping through my fingers. I need to find some other way to catch a fly. It looks like it would take two to open that door. I would need to find an escape companion. I wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. I had bested many difficult quests, but I might need a key. Contraband is frowned upon. I'll need to hide this.
Welcome to commissary. I... <gasps> well, if it isn't... Oh, <laughs> boy, what a sight for sore eyes you are. <laughs> I was on my rescue mission and got caught up by these flying rocks. Even these shorts weren't able to outrun those barbarians. Between the two of us, these rockheads can't understand a quality deal the way you can. Speaking of which, in honor of your apparent aristocratic acquisition, I am prepared to offer a free item for today only. Better yet, I'll discount some previously undercounted prices. Now, I'm sure that crown came with some moolah. Let's make a deal, baby. You won't regret it. So, where's my free item? <laughs> of course. Aloha! How's business treating you? It's quite hard to find rare and miraculous ingredients in this cell, but I'm making do. Can I see the merchandise? Ooh, stay back. Don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mix-in for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. A come back when you have more money. I can tell by the distinct lack of jingle in your pocket. Metal eating sticks for my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Eh, come and see me when your pockets are full of more riches. The last bowl of porridge, spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny gold coins. Boy, you just don't have enough. Yes, I recovered that, no thanks to you, and it is not for sale. It has a bit of sentimental value for me. Worth more than money. Sorry, boy. Where are the majestic unicorns? That is a very painful subject, boy. Can we keep it to business, please? I haven't seen them since I've been down here. They must have them locked up in maximum security. So, I just have to ask, why do you pretend your goats are unicorns? Pretend, my boy! Pretend! They are actual bona fide actual unicorns, not goats! Okay, you caught me, they're goats, but don't say that too loudly or they'll be bridge treats. Where did you and Mr. Fancy Cakes meet? You don't just meet Mr. Fancy Cakes, you are awed by Mr. Fancy Cakes. I found myself awed on the eastern mountains of Serenia while I was out in search of squaddle nogs. What's a squaddle nog? I don't know. Do you know where I can get one? Oh, so how many years have you been procuring? When you're in my business, it's not about the years. It's about the pockets you, I mean, the lies you touch. Goodbye. Pasta la vista, you meatball. There were more mattresses there than people in Daventry. I wondered where they got them all.
I knew fairy tales were unlikely to come true. However, sometimes you can't find a romantic heart. That goblin so desperately wanted to find its prince. Almost. If I was a little bit stronger, I could do it. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. said you felt better. The eye of a fly! Don't you see? That's the missing ingredient! A uh, potion? Are you... Are you... Are you... Is it for teleportation at random? Does it summon a storm that follows you? Will it make you transform into a cat? <laughs> Apologies. Been working on that. Cat. Will this potion make you turn into a clawed feline? No, it's nothing special. Just weed killer. We think we can rot away these roots to escape. 
bring us the eye of a fly, boy, and keep up with the treats. Hmm. Yeah, I would have taken the other path. Is this story about your choices or mine? Oh, perhaps you should share that with someone else since we already ate. I don't even know who you are anymore. It's not worth getting caught for. Oh, perhaps you should share that with someone else since we already ate. I don't even know who you are anymore. A large metal lock guarded the door. work. Not too shabby. Could use a few more strategically placed barbs, but who am I to complain? All right, Graham. Stand back. Which one you want me to take out first? <laughs> that one. Take that. <laughs> Come here, you little pile of gravel. Reach your hand in here so I can cut it off. Cow, cow, cow. <laughs> Okay. What was that, guard? Oh, nothing. I went to bed with a heavy heart. Everyone was relying on me, and I knew I was going to have to make some hard choices. That morning, a stale smell hung in the air. I knew Bramble and Mr. Fancy Case couldn't hold on another day without medicine. <laughs> I felt better, but still not like myself. Dinner is served. <laughs> This looks like an excellent hiding place. I don't think he'll be a bother anymore. While I was incredibly hungry, I wasn't that desperate. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. <gasps> I couldn't help but be afraid. The survival of the prisoners was solely up to me. The last time I faced something like this, it didn't end well.
Jamba. Let me see the goods. Ooh, stay back, don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mixin' for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. Are you interested? I'll take it. You got yourself a deal. I have procured the only bottle of medicine in that prison. But who should I give it to? Metal eating sticks from my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Are you interested? I'll take it. So, to the boy in the sparkling turban. Goodbye. Bye-bye, and hopefully buy more. Chopsticks won't pick this lock. Graham, uh, about Bramble, do you know why she's sick? Yeah, the conditions down here are terrible. Uh, no, Graham. Um, she's pregnant. We're expecting. Oh, I, I had no idea. Uh, congratulations. Well, congratulate me after you bring us medicine. Sometimes there is no right answer. But that doesn't mean there's a wrong one, either. Oh, little Boo. Our king has brought you some nectar of the gods. Thanks, Gram. Whatever was in that bottle worked. I instantly feel better. You're welcome. How do you feel now? Uh, much better. And the baby feels better, too. Very kind-hearted of you, Graham. Our family thanks you. <sighs> It's a wee bit cold, though. Well, there's a furnace back there. Uh, Graham, do you think you could bring us some wood? Perhaps if we get a fire going, we can do a little prison bacon. I might be able to scrounge together a batch of sweetie cakes if you can find me flour. Oh, great idea, Bramble. That's thinking from the heart. Perhaps the guards would take a loving bribe and let us out of here. You did good, Graham. Yeah, but there's two goblins left. Oh, I know. And for some reason, they won't come near the bars anymore. Do you blame them? Go find me a long handle for this blade. Let's see them hide from that. Um, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Ever hear of killing them with kindness? Kindness? Huh. Never heard of that weapon. That lock. 
was too advanced to be picked. A large metal lock. Really? Hmm. That lock was too advanced to be picked. All right, stand back. Be gone, weeds. Dang, nabbit. Did I say eye of a fly? I meant flying eyes. I always get those two mixed up. Oh, Muriel. <laughs> hey, I'm sick of you. How can a whole horde of creatures be so dumb? Who raised you? Oh, your species is capable of deep thoughts. And that's a fact. That's it. I'm at my wits' end with these little sadists. We're taking them out. Oh, Muriel. Brute force? Let's think this through. No, my mind is made up. We're building a bone bomb. It's the smartest thing we can do. All right, Muriel. We will need some boom powder. Here's the recipe. Yes, King Edward. There's so few good Graham. ones left these days. What do you mean? Everyone is anti this or that, or has a dark side, but why How must we all I'm be okay so right troubled? Now, but maybe Winty should give everyone a hug. What's the plan? Bring us everything on that list. Muriel wants to brew up a bone bomb and show these goblins what happens when the wise become bold. I wouldn't want to mess with this bouquet of scents down here. I'll see to it. You could all Until next time. Even though I'm able to sit up does not mean I'm healthy. My stomach grumbles all the same. My taste buds are drying up. You know what they say. If you don't use them, you lose them. I can't wait to try out our stump cauldron. Hopefully, we'll have the strength soon to give it a test. I just hope our cure. Can I take a look around your cell? Sure. Is that a choco nut? We wish. Whatever it was is rotted. We will pick this up later. Bye. Good day. Can I take a look around your cell? I'm too hungry to deal with your questions. Goodbye. Hasta la pasta.
guess I'm... Really? Guess I'm so paying attention. That would never work. Well, it's still not tall enough to climb yet. I should check back tomorrow. stronger I could do it. I wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. I had bested many difficult quests. But I might need a key. Chopsticks won't pick this lock. Hey. How are you feeling? I could eat. Goodbye. Bye. Hello. So, what's the plan? Find me a long handle for this blade. They won't be able to hide anymore. Goodbye. Evening. Those are way too fancy for me. Yeah, I don't see how that's gonna work. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? That lock was too advanced to be picked. Adventure. I was great at taking quests. As a king, I struggled at giving orders. What if I made the wrong choice? What if I led the kingdom astray? What if I lost another friend to that dragon? I could have saved Mr. Fancy Cakes. What was I thinking? I was fully restored and started to feel like myself again. That's about as good as I was going to feel down there.
Yuck! Chandra Blossom! Oh, it stinks! While it seemed to be empty right now, I figured if I ever lost something, I might want to check here. While it seemed to be empty right now, I figured if I ever lost something, I might want to check here. While it seemed to be empty right now, I figured if I ever lost something, I might want to check here. Grandfather, do you have any snacks in here? Pay attention, Garth. You said you wanted to learn. I should check back tomorrow.
While it seemed to be empty right now, I figured if I ever lost something, I might want to check here. While it seemed to be empty right now, I figured if I ever lost something, I might want to check here. Hello. Bye. Good night, sire. The last time Chester ate one of those, well, have you heard of the Rubenstern fiasco? The last time Chester ate one of those, well, have you heard of the Rubenstern fiasco? We really should move the store around once we're back. It's impossible to get out from behind the table. Why would we need...
Great. Just one more ingredient to go. Really? I hope... still didn't have a plan. I went to sleep unsure of the decisions I had made and the ones I would have to make tomorrow. Today, I would need to show Bramble some compassion if she was going to make it. you feeling? I don't think I'll make it another day. Hmm. I knew you'd come through. I think I'd feel better sitting. Hello. Can I take a look around your cell? I'm too hungry to deal with your questions. Goodbye. Hasta la pasta. Yes, I'm so paying attention. Really?
Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I am definitely seeing two of it. Welcome. How are you feeling? Like I have an oblivious king. So, what's the plan? <sighs> Can I take a look around your cell? What was that? I couldn't hear you over the whole starving and perishing thing. Goodbye. Mm. That's cute. I can't eat cute. The only thing I'm strong enough to lift right now is my eyebrows. Are they raised? I'll splurge on carbs, but I can't eat that. A large metal lock guarded the door of that cage. Really? Really? Hmm. Yes, yes. I'm It's okay. I was about ready to retire anyway. This is basically retirement, right? Hmm. Yes, I... Hmm. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I'm too weak to make it to you. We only accept food. Try the cell next door. I can't even raise my hand to grab that. <laughs> I can't eat that. Well, I, I would if I could, but my feet aren't listening to my brain. King boy. Can I take a look around your cell? Sure. What's that stump for? We dug out a hole in it for a makeshift cauldron. Crafty. We will pick this up later. Bye bye. My legs are too shaky. I might drop that. Oh, that won't raise my blood sugar. 
what? How are you feeling? Is that a joke? Four kings are not very in touch with your subject's demands. What's the plan? I'm sorry, Graham, but we're conserving our energy. We're too weak to move. Oh, perhaps our dream fairies will bring us food. Adieu. Yeesh. A large metal lock guarded the door of that cave. While I was incredibly hungry, I wasn't that desperate. It was going to be a rough day. With so many hungry people close to their limit, I would need to make some hard decisions. This, but thanks. This should work. Just a second, Muriel. We'll need to be at full health to build this boomer. Shaky hands and explosives don't mix, woman. All right, all right, Chester. Can I take a look around your cell? I'm too hungry to deal with your questions. See ya. A large metal lock guarded the door of that cage. I hope we didn't leave the oven on. Take a look around your cell. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the whole starving and perishing thing. Can I take a look around your cell? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Let me rest. Goodbye. Perhaps we should trust my gut instead of yours. Allah's. A large met mm. 
Really? Hmm. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Uh. Yes. Hmm. Really? Yes. Really? At least I can keep some dignity by dining at a table. I couldn't believe I failed another friend. Some king I was. Today, I would need to show Bramble some compassion if she was going to make it. It wasn't bedtime yet. I still had chores. What type of animal do you think this is? Don't know. Mm. Oh. Don't care. I couldn't sleep that night. My choices were haunting me. Makes me want to stand. Give it here. Just to have a pot you share with your wife. But I'm bigger than you. We're the same size. My shirt is just slimming, that's all.
This should work. Stand back, Your Majesty. A dud? Chester, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, Muriel, we have food now for a week. <laughs> I just love the taste of powdered bone soap. <laughs> it warms my soul. But, but, oh well, you're right. Scoot over, let me have a taste. Our path to escape is clear. Find us a key, and we will break out of here. This looks dangerous. I hope the guards don't catch me with it. I need to find a light for this fuse. I don't know. Sire? How are you feeling? I feel great. Oh, I think that meal will last me for quite a while. Thanks, King Graham. Can I take a look around your cell? I don't see why not. Is this a prison or a museum? Someone needs to have an intervention with these goblin hoarders. What's that stump for? We dug out a hole in it for a makeshift cauldron. Crafty. Goodbye. Tip of the hat. That key was too small to fit there. How's it going?
goblins love stories, especially fairy tales, and they always wanted to hear more. Well, I love stories too, Grandpa. As do I. But the goblins were obsessed with them. They couldn't just enjoy their stories like you or me. They based their whole lives around them, collecting and hoarding everything they could from their treasured tales, even if it meant stealing. Be careful I don't get caught with this. Buddies, <laughs> come in. Share our delicious soup. Some for you and some for you. I call you Stony, and 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 you marbles. You can be Sandy. Uh, uh, you're scaring me. I'm scaring myself. Um, guys, the alarm. We better get a move on. You guys go. My new friends will protect me. Muriel, we don't have time for this. Go. I'll be waiting right here for you. I want to make sure the other prisoners get fed. Huh. After all these years, you still find ways to surprise get me. Get out of here! I was off to seek an audience with the Goblin King. If I could get my hands on his key, perhaps I could set the other prisoners free. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you have a particular reason for choosing the Hobblepots? It would take a miracle to get out of this one, and in the absence of miracles, tricks would have to suffice. But Amaya could have wrecked all those rock bottoms. Would you mind calling for a guard to carry her off to bed? But, Grandfather, I'd like to hear more. Um, which part did you like the best? The mischievous goblins? Or the interrupting boy who wanted to tell a different story? Oh, um, I was enjoying the goblins. Absolutely, I, I was. I, I just wanted to show you that I could... I think it's best to call it a night. The storm has calmed down, and so has she. But, Grandfather, I... Guard! I just wanted to... This is not a time for debating. Go to bed. We can continue in the morning. As you wish. C good night. Guard, wait. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to snap. These elixirs have my nerves on edge. It's okay, Grandfather. And thank you. I do still have a lot to learn from your stories. Sweet dreams, God. Sleep well. That I can do with my eyes closed. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you're learning. There. That's our ticket out. Mm, no. I'll go ahead. Stay back. I wasn't sure if I could get him across, but he needed to believe I could. Thank you. Quick, in my cape! <laughs> no time to explain!
nightmares come in many forms. Once you realize what you are actually afraid of, you can start to deal with the fear. After that scream, you'll be back. Let's pick up our story once again. I wasn't actually afraid of dragons. I was still struggling with the loss of a chakra. Now, my decisions meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to wrestle with. to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine, and Daventry was ready for a new adventure. Just like the one you're imagining, there was a beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. All were welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. The townspeople cried out to their king, we must be rid of these rats. They're scaring our children and stealing our cheese. One even ate a baby. The town had become very unpleasant indeed. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well, carrying wishes for a better town. But the rats remained. The king, in his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes, for he desperately needed a plan. As wishes would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. The piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town would overthrow their moronic liege. Here, here, they cried out. Our throne is but a seat for a hat rack. Rid us of these pests, and the throne is where you'll rest. The stranger pulled out a small flute and played a pleasing melody. The music summoned the rats out of hiding, and they danced on the head of the king. 
the king shrieked a high-pitched squeal. But the piper continued his song. The rats were led back to the wooded forest where they belonged. The piper returned to the castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout the halls, and no one let him in. He raised his pipe, and a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom pranced to his side. With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle to the deep, dark caverns below. The throne is now empty, and the well doesn't clang anymore. Manny knew exactly what to write to incite the horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. Oh, it was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits, but the mind games were just beginning. <laughs> ever come true? Of course, but real monsters are far easier to deal with than imaginary ones. Ugh. Goblins ruin everything. Goblins ruin everything. This is hardest party. Who that? The dude, na? The she. Distress! Help us, King! Enough! They're only stories. Can't you just enjoy them for what they are? You've missed the point entirely. Is this how you want your story to be remembered? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, um, how about a new story? Hmm. Uh, once upon a time, there lived, uh, um, uh, uh, let me see what I got here. There lived a wise little goblin who loved adventures. Hmm. <laughs> Even in his young age, stories of the goblin's quests had spread around the land. Like the time he...
jump kicked an evil serpent lord. Hmm. No, that can't be right. Wait a minute here. Outsmarted physical griffin. In fact, his adventures were so legendary, the goblins decided to make him king. But the goblin adventurer was out of his element and overwhelmed with the work it took to run a successful kingdom. His friends offered their... Strength. <laughs> Let me try that again. Wisdom. <laughs> Let me try that again. Heart. <laughs> But it wasn't enough. He was afraid he would never live up to the king who came before. It got so bad that the goblin gave up. But when packing up his things to run away from the castle, the goblin found... Uh, he... he found... He found... No, that can't be right. Wait a minute here. Uh, let me try that again. No, that can't be right. No, that can't be right. Wait a minute here. His old adventurer cap. And the goblin realized that he wasn't just here to continue the previous legacy. He was here to create his own. One filled with... Compassion. And the best group of friends you could ever ask for. Ooh. Save us. No, I told you he'd save us. Well, I think it was me, actually. You know, I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fancy Cakes, a river Barachi. And that's my story. Some of the details might have changed over the years. And I certainly left out some parts I wasn't fond of. But I found it's best to enjoy stories for what they are, and not for what you hoped they would be. Ah, you've fallen asleep again. And I think it's time I do the same. <laughs> You could use a friend. <laughs> 